In this video, we will explain how to knit short rows using the wrap and turn method. Short rows refers to when you change the direction of your knitting before you get to the end of the row. The wrap and turn method ensures that you aren't left with a hole in that spot. Here I've stopped three stitches before the end of the row. Now I will move the yarn to the front between the needles. Then I will slip the next stitch onto the right needle. Now I'll move the yarn to the back between the needles and turn the knitting over. Slip stitch back over to the right needle and then move your yarn to the back between the needles. From here you can continue knitting as usual. I'll stop when I'm three stitches away from the end of the row. And here we are, three stitches. Now again I'll move the yarn to the front between the needles and slip the next stitch onto the right needle. Then move the yarn to the back between the needles and turn the knitting around. Once again, slip stitch back over to the right needle and then move your yarn to the back between the needles. Now I'll continue knitting the row as usual. And here we are. This is the stitch which we wrapped and here are two more stitches before the end of the row. So now I'll shift the yarn to the front and slip stitch over to the right needle. Then shift the yarn to the back and turn the knitting around. Return the stitch to the right needle and shift the yarn to the back. Here we continue knitting as usual. Now here again I have the stitch I wrapped around and two other stitches before the end of the row. So now I'll shift the yarn to the front and slip stitch over to the right needle. And yarn to back and turn the knitting around. Return the stitch to the right needle and shift the yarn to the back. And now I'm just continue knitting as usual. And you can see here on either side we've got ourselves two short rows.